In just the last two hours, an update from federal investigators into the second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Now, this comes as police release the body cam video showing the suspect being arrested. Fox's Caroline Elliott joining us live now. She's outside Trump International Golf Course in West Palm Beach. So, Caroline, what is the latest update now from the FBI? Brandy, Amy, you can see police are still on scene now as the FBI is now investigating the second assassination attempt on Donald Trump in just nine weeks. And now for the first time today, we are seeing the body cam video of that arrest. The video shows officers slowly approaching the suspect, now identified as Ryan Ruff after officers pulled him over on Interstate 95. Martin County officers made the arrest yesterday, shortly after Secret Service agents found the suspect hiding in the brush at Trump International Golf Course. According to investigators, the Secret Service fired shots at the suspect after spotting the muzzle of his rifle through a chain link fence. Police say the suspect was positioned just 300 yards away from where Trump was playing golf. Now, thankfully, the former president is, of course, OK, but there are a lot of questions now on how the suspect got that close with the Secret Service there. Today, the Secret Service did clarify in the last two hours that the suspect did not have a direct line of sight on Donald Trump. Take a listen. As former President Trump was moving through the fifth fairway across the course and out of sight of the sixth green, the agent, who was visually sweeping the area of the sixth green, saw the subject armed with what he perceived to be a rifle and immediately discharged his firearm. The subject, who did not have line of sight to the former president, fled the scene. He did not fire or get off any shots at our agent. This afternoon, we also learned that the acting Secret Service director met with law enforcement here on the ground, and already we're seeing plans to increase security at Trump's rally later this week. Tonight, the suspect is still in custody after his first appearance in federal court this morning. Right now, he's facing two separate gun charges, but we're told more federal charges are possible. Brandy, Amy. All right, Caroline, thank you.